circle. Well, Mick Nevin has said that stand-up comedy is a lot harder than working, but he enjoys the free drinks. So this morning we've dragged him out of bed to give us an insight into the similarities between marriage and politics. Please welcome Mick Nevin. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got to say, I am amazed by the state of politics in this country at the moment. It is full on right now. I mean, we had the big election last year. We wound up with a hung parliament. Julia Gillard hung on. Tony Abbott, he thinks, well, I can break this now. We've got Greens and Independents swanning around like they own the place. Every day it is full on. Boat people, carbon tax. Normally we only have to worry about politics once every four years four years when there's an election, right? At the moment, every day is like an election campaign. Everywhere you look, it's politics, politics, politics. So much politics going on right now, it's made me realise just how much politics there is in relationships. Because I'm married. There's a lot of politics goes on in a marriage. <laughs> politics is about giving, taking, compromise. Marriage is the same. I give, she takes, I compromise. <laughs> But, but it's more than that, it's more than that. Like, in my marriage, my wife and I, we have opinion polls. Like, I wake up in the morning, I try and throw the leg over. <laughs> she tells me no, again. So I run a quick opinion poll. Can I put up with this for another day? 51% yes. I just said, you are hanging on by a thread, woman. A small swing in a marginal electorate, and she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she has her own opinion polls. She has her own opinion polls. I recently came second in a two husband preferred. <laughs> Got beaten by Shane Warne, so obviously I need to lose a few kilos and tan up a bit, maybe. Politics in marriage works like this, all right? In my marriage, I am the Prime Minister. I am the leader. My wife spends all the money, that makes her the treasurer. Okay, then you've got my mates. That's my front bench. That's my cabinet. That's where the ideas come from. Her mates, opposition front bench. <laughs> That's where the trouble starts, right there. Mother-in-law, leader of the opposition. <laughs> so politics in marriage works like this. My front bench comes to me with an idea. They say, Mick, Friday night footy, we are going to go. We are going to get drunk. After the footy, we're going to go to the casino. We're going to get even drunker. We're going to win a stack of money. We're going to go to a strip club. And we're all going to get lap dancers. <laughs> and I think, all right, that sounds like good policy to me. So we approach the treasurer for some money to fund that policy. <laughs> you say something like, oh, we need some money for a boys' night out. Treasurer says, oh, I'm sorry, there's no money in the budget this month for a boys' night out. You think, come on, take some money out of housing. Treasurer says, we've spent the housing budget this month, we're getting new curtains. <laughs> and he, hold on a second, I'm the Prime Minister, no one spoke to me about new curtains. And the Treasurer says, well, I've spoken to the opposition front bench and the Leader of the Opposition, they all agree we need new curtains. And you think, well, you've got bipartisan support, good for you. Well, may you say, God save the boys' night out, because nothing will save the Treasurer's new curtains. This is the boys' night out we had to have. No Australian male should be living in breast poverty in the year 2011. We're going to have our boys' night out, even if it puts the budget into deficit. We need a stimulus. <laughs> So you take your credit card, you have your boys' night out, you wake up the next morning, the treasurer rolls over and says, what happened last night? You think, hello, Parliament's open. <laughs> it's question time. <laughs> so you say, I'd love to tell you what happened last night, but according to the Freedom of Information Act, that is classified for 20 years. We've got a gag order on that. But of course, one of your front bench is trying to get cosy with a member of the opposition front bench. So the word gets around. That's called a leak. <laughs> Your wife finds out you've been at a strip club, she gets all upset, she's in your face. What are you doing going to a strip club? Why are you getting lap dancers? I thought we were married. What about our marriage vows? Sickness, health, forsaking all others. And you say, babe, that was an election year. I made a lot of promises back then. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, sir. including fashion with Emily Power right after this from Marianne.